At some primary schools in Benin City, teachers were making use of internet-enabled tablets to teach, a development they said is the outcome of the training they received during the holiday. Pupils were optimistic about the development and expressed joy to return to school after the last term's holiday. I'm so excited for what the governor has done. He has tried to take education to the next level by teaching us on how to use computer to teach. We went for training, so they then postponed the resumption day. They are trying to implement it. When I entered the class, our auntie was telling us that the governor gave us a new digital let me call it a laptop. Our teachers are not be stressful again. I'm happy to be in school. I'm so excited. An attempt to visit a Wotubu primary school, however, met a brick wall as commercial vehicles declined to go to the area due to the deplorable condition of the road leading to the school. Investigations showed that pupils and teachers have to trek long distance to get to the school through bush paths, risky curves, and navigate through the compounds of residents in the area in order to get to Ewotubu and Ugiagbe primary schools, which are located within the same compound. At times, some will follow this side, some will follow the other side. Even at small moment now, you see this, this three and your this side. The major road, now that side of the day, that I don't condemn. Now, we can still form this one, we will see the pass now. One three and four today now, two, three days, we'll not go past here. When we come to school, we pass through, sometimes if we want to pass the day, there will be water. If we do not pass, we will pass the other side. So, we will see water will be getting to our class. For so, people in this school, they have gone to private school because of the lotion and the glasses in this school. But sometimes when we are coming, water, 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 water will fill that place more and we push in to cross. Sometimes we can come here because the like class is full with flood. Apart from the devastating state of the roads leading to a Wotubu primary school, the school's infrastructure are dilapidated. It was learned that some parents have withdrawn their wards and moved them to other schools. On what the state government is doing to ameliorate the plight of pupils and teachers of Ewotubu and Ugiagbe primary schools, the state commissioner for education, Barista Emmanuel Agbali, promised to comment on a later date. In a previous interview, however, the state commissioner for infrastructure, engineer Osahon Amyoleme, said plans have been put in place to rehabilitate the deployable roads in Ewotubu area. Ameze Obaisiagbon, reporting.